Hi there and welcome to my very first Blender tutorial. Uh, forgive me now for the bad audio quality. I promise next time around I'll uh, get it set up so you can hear me a little bit better. So I'll try and speak up. Alright, uh, on with the tutorial. This tutorial came about uh, from a problem I discovered. and I wanted to lay out vegetation over an uneven surface uh, for the Blender game engine. Um, I discovered this helpful tutorial on blendercookie.com called Painting Instance Objects. Um, it's uh, basically a particle method of uh, painting geometry onto surfaces. Um, but as we all know, particles uh, don't work in the Blender game engine. But I did discover a way to make this uh, work in the Blender game engine. Super simple. But I, I recommend first going through this tutorial because it covers a lot more than I'm going to cover. I'm just going to go over what I did really quickly. So let's get on with the show. Um, what I have set up here in my uh, layer one is a, a light and a camera parented to a null. Uh, on the null, uh, just for my own purposes, set up a bit of logic here so that I can uh, rotate the camera, spin the camera around uh, in the game engine to see that um, my sprites are working properly. Because for my purposes, what I also wanted were for all my vegetation. Uh, my sprites to always stay orientated towards the camera. Um, Alright, let's get on with it. Also in a hidden layer over here, um, what I have is a whole bunch of sprites with uh, different textures of uh, the vegetation I'm going to use. Um, in that tutorial I mentioned, he, uh, he's dealing with three-dimensional objects. He mentions doing some your own random rotations in the z-axis. I'm not doing that. Um, for my purposes, I'm just looking a little bit in the x-axis. Um, so here we go. There's, these are uh, my plants and uh, create some land, some land here. Uh, add mesh, plane, scale that up to 5 or something. I'm going to go into edit mode. Hit, hit W. We're going to subdivide multi-fractal. Uh, number of cuts, 7. Sure, why not? Uh, the random factor. I'm going to just knock it down to 5 a little bit. It's a little bit bumpy, but not crazy. Um, Alright, here we are. I'm just going to go to the front view. Um, Alright, let's go to edit and uh, let's make this smooth. Uh, it's a little prettier to look at. Um, Alright, let's uh, get going then. Get on with the magic. We're in objects, object buttons. We're going to go into the particles. We're clicking that little button there. Um, and we're just going to hit add new. And change our emitter to hair. The amount, uh, I'm going to knock that down to three. So what this is is for each click or each drag that I, I do when I paint the particle, is how much, how much, or how many sprites are you going to drop down every single time? Is this a thousand? That's a lot. Um, three should be more manageable. Oops, I'm going to change my segment down to two. Not really sure what that does, but just in case. Um, make this random. This is all pretty good. Um, I don't know if this really matters, but according to the tutorial, he mentions changing the velocity of the normal to 0 0.1. Alright, everything else here I think is good. Oh, no, the rotation here. Um, according to, I'm pretty sure for my guys, it's the object X. So your setup might be a little bit different, but either way, play with these things. Uh, it basically just sets up how it's going to orient. orient, orient the planes uh, whether it's facing the, the, the y-axis or the x-axis. Anyways, onward. Visualization. Um, you change it to group. But, oh yeah, as well, um, in my hidden uh, layer here, I uh, changed these guys, uh, I added, added these guys into a group of their own. And I believe that group oops, is called grass underscore group. And yeah, I guess right because I already started laying down a couple of uh, sprites here. I'm going to change pick random uh, so that each particle that goes laid down will choose randomly from the six uh, graph sprites that I created. And as well in the viewport, I'm going to hit N to bring up the transform properties. So you'll see why in a second. Scroll over here, we're going to change from object mode to particle mode. Now this uh, changes to particle edit properties, and as you can see, there's nothing here right now. We're going to change that. 
I'm going to select part of the system tab and hit set editable. That changes to now free edit. And you can see now our particle edit property has changed. Um, let's hit add. Uh, so now we can start painting our particles onto the surface. I'm just going to change strength down to 10. I don't know if it really matters, but I'm going to do it anyway. 5 is pretty good. Everything else here works good for me. So we can just click or we can drag. Let's stragglers over here. Uh, and that's about it. Um, now, as you can see, if uh, I'm going to get out of particle mode and go into object mode. And close this down. Now, as you can see, uh, with these guys, if I hit P, go into the game engine, poof, they're gone. They're not there. But why? <laughs> well, because they're particles. Um, let's fix that. We're in object mode now, so let's click our edit uh, button. Click our edit button. You see, when we uh, created the particle system, uh, a particle modifier has been laid down. Uh, with this handy little button here, for some reason, that's well, not giving me the information as I hover over the top of it. But basically, if you just hit this, it'll convert all these sprites into their own little individual meshes. So let's just do that. Blammo. And there we go. So now if I click on one of these guys, uh, we'll see each one is now its own thing. Um, if I hit P, there they are. They display. Um, but what I want to do is also add a little bit of game logic to each one of these guys. Um, I'm going to go into my, uh, my lister here. And the top one here, this is one of the sprites that I created in my hidden layer. I'm going to go and give it some game logic. So why don't we do that? Let's hit, uh, give it an always sensor. Put on a controller. And we're going to drop down an actuator. I'm going to change this actuator to an edit object. I'm going to change that edit object to track 2. So I'm going to add our camera. So we're telling, uh, we're telling this one sprite anyway to track camera. What we're going to do now is, oh, I keep forgetting to do this. Well, I'm just going to, you want to basically select all your sprites. Uh, but unfortunately, I got to select everything. And I'm going to unselect you, and I'm going to unselect you, I'm going to unselect the plane, and I'm going to unselect that empty. Alright, so that should be good. Um, then I'm going to, I think, <laughs> I think I selected a lot. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so I can just click it one more time. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, is woo, not do that. If you want to just have selected your uh, your sprite, so however way you want to do that, go for it. Um, and then I'm gonna. The uh, last thing I want to select is that sprite I gave the game logic to. That will be our actor object. Then I'm gonna go hit Control C, and uh, Control C will give you all these things you can copy from this one. Uh, sprite. So, control C, and we're going to select logic bricks. And so, all that's done is basically given each one of these sprites game logic. The game logic to track the camera. So, let's go view through our camera. I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'm going to call Z, and let's hit play. Alright, now I'm going to spin my camera around, and as you can see, these sprites are now doing what I want them to do, which is to uh, be stuck to an uneven surface, uh, renderable in the game engine, and also tracking to camera. Uh, so the moral of the story is, once you've painted on the, the geometry onto your surface, uh, go to that modifier, hit convert, um, and then all your uh, vegetation should be stuck on 
uh, to your surface. Uh, and if you want to do that extra step to um, have them all track the camera, it's uh, basically just that. Add the logic to one of the sprites, select all the others, and then you select that one sprite as lastly, and Control-C, copy logic, and uh, there you go. We all should have that logic. Thank you very much. Sorry if this is a little confusing, um, but if you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to ask away and hopefully I'll be able to answer them. Good night.